Hi, we're the Psychic Twins. I'm Terry. And I'm Linda. And today we're going to talk about how to spot a fake psychic. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, in every field there are, you know, shysters and there are imposters and there are unscrupulous people. But in the psychic medium field, there are probably more cons than pros, wouldn't you say? I would say. And thousands of people have been ripped off by psychic scammers who portray themselves as real psychics and it's it's gotten to the point where we feel like we need to give some pointers of how to spot a fake psychic it won't help you avoid a fake psychic altogether there are some real ones online um, and even on hotlines there's some real psychics but a lot of psychics are taking advantage of people and exploiting them just for money yeah and you know a lot of people are good psychics we always say that everyone has intuition, but we just want to give you some pointers so you don't spend a whole lot of money on some hack who is just uh, really trained to scam you. So let's start with uh, the grief vampire. Well, a lot of people call psychics when they have lost a loved one, um, a parent, a child, a friend. We've heard a lot of stories about people that have lost loved ones, spouses, children, friends, partners who uh, call psychic hotlines and they get people that kind of lure them in and promise them that they're channeling their loved ones and they aren't really necessarily true mediums. They aren't proven mediums. Right. And they take them for a lot of money. They say you have to call me every week and I can channel this person and there's no guarantee that you'll be able to bring in a loved one. There's plenty of psychics that's that sort of prey on uh, those who have lost loved ones. Also, uh, keep in mind that there are people out there saying they have this amazing track record or they're internationally renowned, everybody's internationally famous, uh, and they may not be. And so if they have no track record of any predictions that are accurate, that's, that's a red flag. And also, if they say, oh, we made this prediction, but they don't have a link to the actual prediction of true? the radio show or the TV show where they made the prediction, that's that's a red flag too, so a lot of people will try to scam you that way they don't have any proof. Yeah, this has happened with, uh, everybody seems to be claiming to have predicted 9-11 for example, but none of them have proof on tape yeah, or there's anywhere. Some, like Gypsy named Baba Vanga in a Bulgaria, and I think she died, but she, died in the she 90s. did not predict 9-11. There's no proof that she did, but there's, there's no proof. It's kind of a legend that she did. It's sort of word of mouth been handed down, but there is no proof of it. And oh, I've so, never seen a link. I mean, somebody said, oh, it's in Russian. I've never seen a Russian link. So. I've never seen a link either. But, uh, and what about the people that fake their bios? Yes, I was just going to say that uh, the people fake their bios and say they are, you know, really world-renowned, they've worked with, and they name a bunch of psychics that they've supposedly toured with and there's no such proof of that. Um, so be very careful when people say on their bios, oh I've had 20 or 30 years of experience counseling people. Uh, you really have to look at are they being endorsed, are they well known, have you ever seen their predictions. A lot of mediums say they can do future predictions but that's a whole different skill set. And then when you ask them they refuse to predict anything. So or, look, don't get us wrong, everybody has their strong suit, everybody has their, you know, their thing that they do it's like a shtick you know uh, everybody has a specialty and so some psychic mediums don't do anything but talk to the dead. That's what a medium is. Yeah. And we're mediums, but we're also predictors, mm -hmm. and not everybody does that, but they may claim to. And also they'll like refuse to predict. Like, I yeah. will not predict anything for yeah. you. And you know, that might not be the best psychic for you. It doesn't necessarily mean mm -hmm. that they're gypsies or they're fake, but they may be too vague. Like, ah, don't worry, someday you'll find somebody. Yeah. You know, it's a little bit vague. We always say who, what, when, and where mm -hmm. for a good prediction or a good yeah, at least a time frame and maybe right. some qualities, characteristics that person might have, what kind of work, what they might look like. That is more the kind of thing you want to look for than, oh, you won't be alone, you know, you'll always have love around you. That's not a real psychic in our opinion. Well, what about the people that say, oh, we reunite you with lost yes. lover yeah. or Impossible. your, your ex-husband, I'll make him come back to you. Believe me, there are a lot of people yeah. that claim to do that and they charge a lot of money for it. It's Possible. You know, we always say be careful with that. I actually have known some people that do that professionally. I would be skeptical because I feel like 
you're the only person that can do that. And maybe if the person left, you don't want them back. Maybe yeah, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. You kick them out for a reason. <laughs> Just remember, remind yourself, what did I leave this guy for? So if a psychic tells you that they can reunite you with a lost love, it's impossible. Don't buy it and don't go and pay money, a lot of money to have that done because yeah. nobody can change your karma for you or your destiny except for you. You know, we always say we believe you can change your destiny, but somebody else can't do that for you so yeah. that's something to keep in mind as yeah. well I think one of the tricks is that these fakes will approach people and they'll say I can help you they'll approach them in malls or they're put their cards on your car or and say I can help you but I I sense you have curse on your family and curse on you because you can't attract a soulmate or you haven't been successful in business or financially successful or like a dark cloud like, over your head I yeah. can burn candles, candles but that's extra it's thousands of dollars to burn candles and you have to come back every week or wire money that's another scam believe me these people are they're con artists do not believe it it cannot be done that's called curse removal well, we know way. somebody that actually spent sixty thousand dollars on someone who just left town after a while and so he called us and he, he said thank god i found a good psychic because i was really chiseled by this woman and it's so common guys you please common it's scheme. like a pyramid scheme don't get sucked in by anybody can say oh i'm a psychic but they have to be able to prove it or at least have somebody refer you to a good yeah. psychic like somebody that they totally exactly. trust it doesn't mean that they're real but you can pick and choose like we had to go to a lot of different psychics and we were very fortunate because we saw good psychics like they were talented you know, yeah they know. were authentic they cared about you they weren't just in it for the money and it should never be just because of the money because you're looking for somebody who really wants the best for you and is willing to go deeper and work on helping you with the best tools that you might be able to change your own destiny with and maybe they're there to help you spot blocks to why you can't manifest a, a partner or a good job uh, the best psychics will be able to give you tools for changing that. And not just say, I remove debt, karma, I remove bad curse, I will do it all for $10,000 because these people are going broke. And then they're coming to us and saying, what do I do? I just got ripped off. Also, what about uh, people that just give you all kinds of negative information and cause a lot of fear? You mean just people that prey on those who might be nervous enough to keep coming back and they keep roping you in so for more money so that you keep coming back every week? They only give you negative Negative yeah. information. Yeah, like, we, that's you know, not a good thing. <laughs> it's not a good thing, and we always say prophecy is really meant to be a harbinger or a warning, mm -hmm. so that you know, you know what's coming up. If somebody, if we see that somebody's going to have a car accident in two months, we'll tell them. And guess what? We have been right about that with a lot of YouTubers also yeah. who have come back to us and sent us pictures of blood all over them. And you were right. I was in an accident today. We're going to tell you if we see something, but we don't just tell that to everybody to scare you. No, we will say, to and some warning. people will say, listen, I don't know when I'm going to die. Then we won't tell you. So, you know, you know, make sure that they're telling you some good things too. Yeah, I, there's nothing wrong with, with warning someone if they see a negative event, like an accident. Uh, we told somebody her kid was going to have a, a very bad arm injury within the next two months. Yeah. And sure enough, she called and said, he did have that. He went through a plate glass window and he broke his, he, he uh, shattered his arm and had to have surgery. But she said she was more prepared because she remembered our prediction and she was more prepared with what to do and didn't fly into a panic. So it is fine to warn people of accidents, injuries, if you really see it. But if you sense it's just because they're trying to scare you to come back and spend more money, that is a fake. Yeah, and also if like they're swinging chicken bones in a bag over their head, that's a red flag. <laughs> so it's called chicken chromancy, actually. There's a word for it. A lot of fake psychics use fake names that are really hokey. Oh, like, yeah. So, yeah. like Psychic Sonia or Madame Rose or Spirit Warrior or Aura Star or Rainbow uh, Goddess. And that might be their real name, but chances are <laughs> it's a funny name and they have a fake picture or a cartoon yeah. Avi and they're not real psychics. In those cases, you know, proceed with caution. You know, you know what you're getting yourself into. There, there's a reason you're using a fake name, so they can't be tracked. And that's also, another reason. So they don't have to be responsible for right. a wrong prediction, for example. Sure, because anybody can make bad predictions and then if you have no way of contacting them to ask 
ask them for, uh, you know, maybe clarification. Uh, that's the whole reason they avoid using their real name and contact information. They don't do it. And that's something you can look out for. A lot of hotlines, they use fake names, but there's some very real and authentic psychics and talented psychics on hotlines. So you kind of have to get lucky, but use your common sense too. Okay, so that about does it. And we just wanted to tell you about our t-shirts. We have new alien t-shirts for those of you who have been abducted. I uh, wanted to show you uh, our designs. We have these in our Psychic Twins shop. So get them while they're hot, kids. And they come in different colors and different styles too. The little alien on the left side of the shirt, for example. Uh, if you don't want the, the front picture, the big picture of the alien. And we also have our Zodiac collection, which we have advertised in November. And this is all our original artwork. Uh, every sun sign is represented. You can buy mugs, t-shirts, jewelry. And so make sure you buy one for your friends and family members. I guess that's okay. about it. So Just click on the link below. And make sure you hit like, give us a thumbs up and subscribe, and we'll see you in the future.